name is Stuart Wienig and this video is an overview of CA NIMSOFT Monitor Architecture. My goal is to provide a clear overview of the architecture of CA NIMSOFT Monitor and emphasize the main differentiators that identify this solution as the right solution. NIMSOFT is architected with message bus technology. This is the key differentiator between NIMSOFT and other monitoring systems. And there's information about software bus technology available on the internet. NIMSOFT is comprised of a few primary systems. First, there's the NMS server. NMS stands for NIMSOFT Monitoring Software and is also called your primary hub. And it runs on either Windows or Linux. And NIMSOFT stores its data in your own database server and that database can either be Microsoft SQL, Oracle, or MySQL. UMP, or the Unified Management Portal, is the end user reporting tool that shows the performance data to the end user. Reporting up to the primary hub are the data center hubs. Now let's take for example the fictitious environment where there are three data centers, one in England, one in Germany, and one in France. Each data center would get, would get at least one hub. Now hubs can handle up to 5,000 servers. Let's say England's data center is going to expand, so we scale horizontally by adding more hubs. This could also be looked at as a multi-tenant environment with one customer in England, one in Germany, and one in France. A robot is an agent deployed to a server. Now, customers can also opt for agentless, which is represented by a dotted line in the diagram. Now, these robots are very lightweight, consuming less than 1% of the resources. The reason for that is it's simply a TCP shell. Now, robots have probes on them. NIMSOFT publishes a library of more than 140 probes for monitoring servers, networks, databases, packaged applications, NetFlow, cloud providers, etc. Now the whole point of a bus is to use a publish and subscribe methodology versus client server. A robot is collecting information and publishing it to the message bus. The data center hub then subscribes to the bus to receive the data. Now the data center hub can then republish the data to the bus where the primary hub is subscribed and will the primary hub will then store that information in the database. Now there's some key points that differentiate NIMSOFT from any other IT monitoring solution on the market. First of all is visualization. UMP takes design of presentation layers seriously by implementing role-based views for technical system administrators up to the department level and all the way up to the executive level. For NIMSOFT, visualization is key. Multi-tenancy. UMP is designed to handle multiple customers. Hubs can be divided between customers data is stored in a multi-tenancy fashion in the database. Ease of use. One example of NIMSOFT's ease of use is the configuration deployment. An administrator can copy the configuration of a bundle of probes to the entire robot, all robots on the hub, or all robots in the entire domain. Next, NIMSOFT is extensible, and this happens in two ways, via APIs and SDKs. NIMSOFT's APIs allow customers to integrate either with their own CMDB, provisioning system, or any other application, and the APIs also allow integration with third-party service desk, or specifically NIMSOFT service desk, which has some very deep API integrations that allow the service desk to be displayed and utilized via the UMP. The SDKs allow customers to build their own probes. A very specific example of this is in the healthcare industry where there are many unique systems that NIMSOFT might not ever create a probe for. Those customers can still build their own robots for specific data gathering on those systems. Scalability. This revolves around proprietary NIMSOFT bus technology, which scales up to 37,000 inserts per second into the database. High availability. High availability is built in. Let's say we lose our connectivity to Germany. However, the hubs between Germany and France can still talk to each other. The Germany hub can send his data to the primary hub through the France hub without losing any data. This is accomplished through spooling. Robots and hubs spool data in a store and forward fashion, and then when that connectivity is restored, they forward that on. NIMSOFT is also future-proof. Because of the design of the message bus, New probes can be deployed at any time without consideration to the version of the bus. I hope this information is helpful to you. If you'd like more information about NIMSOFT Monitor or about the services that Aspire offers, feel free to contact me. Have a great day.